Hello everybody, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone Tutorial. Today, I'll show you how to make an automatic bucket filler for your survival world or realm. This auto bucket filler is a very simple, clean, and compact design. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for empty bottles, because if it did, we would have a very awesome automatic bottle filler, and that would be perfect for an automatic brewing station. But as of now, that is not a feature on Bedrock Edition, but let's cross our fingers and hope that eventually becomes a thing. And until then, what we have is our automatic bucket filler. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how this build works. If we take a look down below, you'll notice that we do have a whole line of water buckets. And if we open up the top barrel, we get our empty bucket, we place it inside. And if we take a look down below once again, there is our next bucket of water. And if you don't believe it, let's go ahead and do it one more time. We open up the top barrel, empty bucket goes in, and then a water bucket comes out. To make this automatic bucket filler, you are going to need a 5x5 area, and let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. And there we go, there are all the supplies we'll need for today's build. So what we have are two observers, two hoppers, a dispenser, one repeater, one redstone torch, one redstone dust, your building blocks, eight glass blocks, two barrels, one item frame, and then two buckets of water to make a water source. With that being said, if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that, grab your supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. To get things started, what we're going to do is build up the front or the face of the build. So right here front and center, go ahead and place three blocks down like this. This is going to be the floor. Right behind the center block, place a temporary block right there. Now go ahead and grab your barrel and place your barrel on top of that temporary block and then we can remove it. Now a quick side note about this bottom barrel, it doesn't have to be a barrel, you can use a chest if you really want to, but to keep the overall theme of the build I am going with the barrel because for the top we are going to need a barrel for sure, there is no swapping that one out. So again that is just a quick side note. Now what we're going to do is grab our hopper, swing around to the back side of this barrel and then crouch place your hopper into the back of the barrel or chest. So it should look like this with the hopper running into the back. Now go ahead and grab your dispenser, swing around to the back side of the build, and then crouch place the dispenser on top of the hopper. And it should be facing backwards because if we look at it from the front, we will have the back of the dispenser right there. Go ahead and grab your last hopper and run that hopper into the back of the dispenser. Again, crouch placing as you place it. And finally, go ahead and grab your second barrel and crouch place that barrel right on top of that hopper there. And again, this top one does have to be a barrel. From here, all we have to do is build around the barrels for the wall. So that part is very simple. All we do is place blocks around it like this. And there we go. We have the front of the build completed. And now it's time for my favorite part of the build, the redstone. So what we're going to do is grab an observer, come around to the back side here, and then so I can get the right angle, I'm going to knock these blocks out right here. Go on down below, we're going to look up and right against this hopper, crouch place your observer like this. So the red dot is facing down and then we have the face of the observer looking up. From there we want to run that observer into a block like this. Get your redstone torch and place your redstone torch right under the hopper. So right now, if we try to place anything inside the dispenser, the hopper is not going to pull it because it is now locked. And then if there is an item inside the hopper, it's not going to flow through either because once again, the redstone torch is locking up this hopper. Next, we can go ahead and grab our second observer and right against this top barrel, place your observer facing in this direction. So we have the arrow pointing away from the barrel. And again, you can see the red dot right there above the dispenser. Now what we're going to do is run that into a block like this. And a quick little fact, fun fact about this little sub that we have here, because this is mainly what this whole build is running on, is this whole bit right here with the observer and the barrel. If we place redstone lamp right here, and I don't know if this is a thing in Java Edition, but if we open up a barrel, the observer will detect that. So we open the barrel, you can see the redstone lamp turn on, and then when the barrel closes, it detects that as well. 
Now, if we place a hopper on top of this barrel, like this, then we throw an item inside. The observer will detect that item going in, which I think is very cool. So again, I don't know if this is a thing on Java Edition, but this is a thing on Bedrock Edition. It is very cool. There are a couple of bugs with the barrel that I mentioned before in my XP farms, and hopefully they fix those. And I won't go into that here. But again, this is the mechanic we're using for this build. Getting back on track, we have the observer running out from the barrel because, again, this observer is detecting the barrel. That's going to run into a block right here. And then what we want to do is place a temporary block right here, a block right there. We can knock this one out, and then redstone dust on this block here. Now go ahead and grab your glass blocks, and again, we're going to place a, let's place our glass block right here, temporary block right there, and then place your glass blocks around that temporary block, remove that, and then we're going to do the same to the other side. So glass block, temporary block here, ground that with your glass, remove it, and there we go. Now go ahead and grab your buckets of water, and because I am in creative, I don't need two buckets, but you would need two buckets to do this side, and also this side here, creating a water source for all three of these blocks. So I'll go ahead and put that back. Now go ahead and grab your repeater, and right above this observer, place down your repeater, running into the dispenser, just like this, and again, another awesome bedrock feature right here for people who don't like bedrock edition redstone we can place our redstone underwater basically any redstone component except redstone dust and redstone torches everything else can go underwater so there we go that is completed and we have our whole mechanic right here so we open the barrel and you can see how this is going to work i know it happens very quickly and there we go, the redstone is all done. With the redstone all done, we can go ahead and give this a test. If we take a look down below, the barrel is empty. And like you saw in the beginning, we open this barrel right here, knowing what happens behind the scenes. We place in our empty bucket. We wait for that tick right there. And that is very important. We let the barrel close, and then we have our bucket of water down below. And again, that is a very important part of this build. So we open up the barrel, we hear that initial tick, and then we place in the bucket, and you'll hear that dispenser once again, and it is very different from the other sounds that we hear. And we hear a third tick, and then we have our bucket of water down below. So again, one more time, empty bucket, and again, listen carefully for the ticks. We open the barrel, a high pitch tick and then bucket goes in we have a lower pitch tick we close the barrel we have a tick once more and then our bucket of water is down below now that the redstone is all done i'm going to try my best to explain how this build works so i already demonstrated that the observer will detect when the barrel opens closes and when an item goes inside and i said that was the foundation for the whole mechanic of the build so when we hear those three ticks, the first one is going to be this right here, the barrel opening, and at this point, nothing is happening. That just kind of happens. And then once we place in our bucket, remember, this is also going to detect when an item goes inside. So again, we have the barrel open, and then we're going to place in our empty bucket. The observer is going to detect that, but at this point, our dispenser has the bucket inside. So after the redstone signal passes through, that is going to power the dispenser, filling up our bucket of water. And then when the barrel closes, it's going to quickly let this bucket pass through because this hopper unlocks. And you can see that with the redstone torch turning off. And hopefully I'm not losing you. And that's because this observer is detecting when this repeater turns on. The repeater turns on, observer detects that, this inverts the redstone torch unlocking the hopper, and that allows the water bucket to pass through. And I really hope I didn't lose all of you there. So that is how the mechanics behind this works. So again, nothing going on. Bucket goes in. Observer detects that, and you can see all the redstone in the background there. 
And then finally, when we close the bucket, that quickly unlocks that hopper, allowing the water bucket to pass through. And finally, to finish off this build, we need to place our item frame on that hopper, unless you don't mind the hopper showing. But for some decoration, we can throw an item frame over that to cover it up. And then just place a bucket of water right there, reminding yourself, even though you know what it is, this is an automatic bucket filler. So there we go, everyone. An automatic bucket filler for your survival world or realm. This is the end of today's Redstone tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been Rogue Fox, and I will see you later.